welcome to Buff Studio. My name is Vivian Melder and this is a BFM production. So, today in the studio we have the very talented Catalan actor, <laughs> Sergio Lopez. He has won the Cesar Award as uh, Best Actor in Harry, He's Here to Help in 2000 and had a lead role in the film Western in 1997, which was nominated for an Oscar. Congratulations. Thank you very much. In this year, in the Black Knight Film Festival, we can see him in La Vida Llura, where he plays the uncle of two kids living in the mystic Menorca Island. Yeah. So, bona tarda, then we good. Bona tarda, ah, thank you very much. <laughs> bona tarda, thank you, gracias, gracias. <laughs> so, can you sum up for the audience, um, exactly in short, what, this, what is this film really about? Well, uh, this film really about uh, two kids, who live in Menorca. And Menorca is, an, is an, a little island just near to Mallorca, and Menorca is little like this. Well, like this, bigger than this, it's an example. Uh, but, um, and the, what is, the, 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 the movie uh, uh, happens in uh, 1918, something like this. And uh, it was a little bit uh, uh, their uh, look at the life, at the life. They, they are, uh, their mother, are not there, are in Algeria. They are, they are, the, the two kids are the, the main characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's only four characters, the two kids and two adults. And the two adults are two men. One man is his uncle and me. I, have an, I, I play another man. And it's a little bit too antagonist, and, but uh, two points of view of life. Uh, he, their uncle uh, works in Earth. It's, uh, the future with him, you can feel, is terrible. It's a, it's a, it's a time in, in this island where the injuries, it was very complicated like this. And me, I, I play another character who opened the, more his, the, their minds to the, to the histories, to the magical. You know, I think, I think the, the movie talked about how the, these kids discover and can see the future and can imagine and can the, a little bit fantastic. It's a little mm -hmm. bit fantastic. They, mm -hmm. The director saw the, the wind, the, you can hear the wind, you can see the clothes, the sea, and it's a little bit... Uh, uh, mystical. Mystical, yeah. Good. Yeah. Right, so speaking of the director, this is your yeah. first collaboration? No, it's no? the third. Third, Third collaboration yeah. with uh, Mark Reche, yes, right? Yes. So we have heard through the grapevine that he likes to keep things very natural, long mm. takes and no yeah. makeup. Yeah. Um, and how is it for you to work with him? It's wonderful. It's wonderful because you know in cinema, well, I I'm uh, privileged to work with a lot of very different directors, and you know in cinema. The, it's very methodical, you, 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 the editing, you have to cut little by little like this, and sometimes you have, n you have no conscience exactly what are you doing. Here, you are, you are in, the, in, the, in the nature, and you, you, uh, you have to be part of that. So for play, for play it's more organic, mm -hmm. it's more organic, because you, you try to go near to the, to the truth, yeah. Something truth like this. So to you know to play with kids and to be all the time in the nature with the wind, with the clothes, with the with the water, with the salt. Uh, for us, it's uh, it's something that you ca you have not to invent it. Yeah, is is there? Is so there? So that help a lot to in, play. Also, exactly the choice of environment for this mm. film, the island of Menorca. Um, it plays a really important role. It, uh, it kind of allows the imagination of the kids and the characters to unwind and the story to unwind. So how was it, you a little bit answered this, but how was it to act in such a very vibrant environment? Well, in cinema it's incredible. In theater you have to imagine yeah. everything. It's another power. It's really powerful, the theater, uh, for the imagination, because you are uh, forced to ima imagine things. But here, in the cinema, you feel mm, not so alone because when you have uh, Menorca, Menorca is a place uh, so wonderful. But the movie is not all touristic. It's not all touristic, but it's real uh, hard na nature. It's really beautiful, but uh, 
you know, it's um, to to be part of this nature is a uh, is natural. It's natural. You it's like you are a, an, an an animal in the middle, living like this. So that helps a lot to be when you are in the in the in a beach. Well, you know that you are not alone. You have not to build a character you yourself with yourself, but you you are a part of the of the island. Right. It's very good. It must be amazing. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, yes. so a lot of audiences have seen you in a lot of villain type characters. Yeah. Um, for example, in the films Solomia, Thirty Pretty Things, yes. and most of all in Pan's Labyrinth. Yes. There's even an academic paper written on your work titled Why Spaniards Make Good Bad Guys. Yeah. Sergio Lopez and the Persistence of the Black Legend in Contemporary European Cinema. Yeah. So, how has this. Um, has this type of casting just happened to you, or do you purposely seek out roles no. that are the antagonist? Yeah, no, no, no. no. It, um, it was funny that because I, I work in, I start in cinema in France, and all my life I, I make um, the characters more or less positive, more or less uh, friend friendly, no. And one day, one day, I I was preparing a movie, and the director the last uh, month change the the and uh, instead of play the the good guy he proposed me to play the bad guy and i was in, uh, i th i thought it was a very good idea because um i think that you know the people are everything you, I, I i don't believe to the actors even the people that are good or, yeah. or bad or so for me especially in this movie harry it was very important that the bad guy was not uh, evidently was not like this, but some somebody who is who have some light. It's more and more um, uh, dangerous. So I, and after this movie, uh, a lot of people said, "Ah, you you make a bad guys." But I in my career I make uh, maybe five or six guys <laughs> and. Uh, I don't know, 70 good guys. But these movies was Guillermo del Toro, was the movie, and Harry, the, the movies who who travel a lot mm -hmm. in the world, so it becomes very important. But uh, for me, it's a pleasure, the, and it's a privilege to propose me bad, good, uh, mm -hmm. and even the, uh, every, every kind of characters. And it's, well, it's a privilege, and I hope that that will be continued. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, because the, clearly the five villains stood out, so <laughs> that's why everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you have had, as you said, like a very long, very fulfilling career, which is wonderful to, for an actor. But I want to take you back. What was the first thing that attracted you to acting? The first thing, I think, like uh, like uh, you or like uh, every, uh, if it was in theater. In theater, the, the the idea to to play, it's a it's a game. It's a, something the pleasure to 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 play. You know, to it's like kids say it, uh, I am not uh, me, I am somebody else. So it's something funny when the, for for the the definition to play. For me, I don't believe to pain. The, to paint, to work, character. I believe a lot that to the pleasure to play, mm -hmm. and to to you are ne when you play in theater, it's very evident. It's very evidently that when you play, you not play for you, you play for the public. And this communication, I think, I think all the people who try one time, it's something really hard, something a little bit spiritual. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Well, that's all of my questions. Thank yes. you. They, that's all for ah, me. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> thank you for watching Buck thank Studio. You, you. And uh, tune in next time. See you. <laughs>